Hello, everyone. Uh, it's always heartwarming to see an even bigger crowd every year of the Fest. So today, uh, what I'll be talking about is uh, channels and global compute executor. Uh, before I uh, go on with the stock, uh, quick question. How many people in this room uh, use channels in parcel? Three people, okay. Uh, how many people here know about channels, even though you have not used it? Like a few people, like five? Okay, great. So I still need to tell you about what is wrong with channels. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, a little bit of history. Uh, so when Parcel was being started up, we had this grand vision of Parcel connecting to remote machines, uh, running multi-site workflows, doing grand things. Uh, but it turns out, you know, there are multiple challenges. Is it too close to it? Yeah. So there are multiple challenges with this, this vision. So we want to connect to remote machines and have a simple mechanism uh, to connect to a large number of DOE, large facilities, campus clusters, clouds, and every other cluster and system that we could think of. Uh, we wanted to make it easier to have automation of remote tasks, so you could run little things in different places easily. And we wanted to make it so that you can run long running workflows that would span multiple days, maybe even weeks. Uh, unfortunately, these things are very difficult. Uh, we also had this grand notion at that time of talking to clouds, uh, talking to AWS, Google and Azure, and it turns out not many users actually want to do that. Uh, then there is this other category of systems, which is poor man's clusters, where you have maybe like four or five or maybe 10 machines just lying about, and you want to string them together into your own little cluster and run compute on that. Um, so we wanted to like solve that case as well. Uh, and on top of all of this, as the, as the world evolved, MFA became a thing. Everybody wanted to have MFA for making sure that it, if things are secured. And, and then we noticed that every single facility has its own little spin in how it asks for MFA tokens. Authentication is just very non-conformant. It's all difficult and different. So this is the world of channels and we found it very difficult to manage this situation, which is sort of why Globus Compute happened and, you know, to solve that problem of connectivity. So everything that is wrong with it. So MFA and security rules make it really difficult to log in reliably in an automated fashion. On top of that, you also have security rules, um, you know, admin set those, uh, saying that you cannot have long running sessions on these machines for good reasons, right? Now, even if you were to solve these two issues, there are still other issues that channels simply did not address. Uh, channels as this software construct, it just basically uses a thin wrapper over Paramico to connect to these machines. So even if you do, did connect to these machines, you still had difficulty like making sure that you're on a different machine with a completely different shared file system. You, know, you, don't, you don't share file systems across the machine that you're running and the target system. Uh, then you have the distributed remote environment management problem. And uh, lastly, not many people actually use this code. Um, as you can see, a handful of people had it. Um, so uh, channels are sort of getting marked and marked as uh, to be de deprecated. And they are going away essentially August 7th uh, of this year. Uh, but we've got a, we've got you covered. We've got a good alternative for you. Um, so that's what I want to talk about uh, during this talk. So this is Globus Computer Executor. So Globus basically solves this problem of connectivity to remote machines, the stability of the connection, and also giving you like a simple model in which you can do multi-site workflows. Um, this work is right now there is a draft PR. Um, if you have time, would like to explore and play with it, um, it's right there. And here is a simple example. 
So you do not need to specify any grant configuration on in the parcel side. You need to have a configuration on the computer side started up. And then once you have that, all you need to do is in parcel, um, import the Globus Compute Executor, point it that the right endpoint ID and run your functions like you normally would. Um, so this basically sort of addresses the problem of connecting remotely to a facility and then running your functions with as if it was just right there. Now, that's the replacement of channels part. And then there is all the interesting cooler part that you, cooler bits that you could do with this. So here I have basically got three different executors. Uh, one is a Perlmutter executor. It's pointed at uh, an endpoint running on Perlmutter. The second one is running on Expanse, the SDSC machine, and I've got local threads. And I want to basically run compute over all of these. So I've got three different apps that I'm trying to run. One is getting the platform information from Perlmutter. The second one is just running that on Expanse. And the third one is basically just concatenating the output from these. So these three functions basically are pointed at these executors to like make sure that these run on the right executor. And the last bit is this. So while compute cannot run workflows with parcel, it can. So you just put together the same workflow system, point it at the Globus compute endpoints, and you've basically got multi-site workflows running with very limited, very little effort. Um, now, on top of all of this, uh, you also get all the benefits of Parcel. You get free tries, you get you know, data management, you get uh, a checkpointing, all of that uh, on top of Compute's ease of use. Um, so if you, if you are actually using channels now, or if you're using the ad hoc provider, please come talk to me.